we believe that this message will be a blessing to you so I want you to stay glued and watch to the end and share to bless others this is Christocentric we have a lot of Apostle Eric Nyamiche's message on our platform kindly check them out thank you for watching stay blessed I'll start from Pentecost and connect it to the family line and the possessing the nation's agenda. See, the main Pentecostal test is Acts chapter 1, verse 8. But you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes on you, and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem and in all Judea and Samaria into the ends of the earth. Nem mum se um conkru nya bamuswa. Mubenya wa dein na maya madansi for Jerusalem ni you de nyina ni Samaria de a kopim asase ano no. Now despite the giftings and the graces that is associated with Pentecost, Jesus said what really we have to receive is beyond tongues. It's beyond the giftings. It's beyond the operations in the supernatural. He says we will receive power. A woman, a chadie, any aduma would wa a unconcruni mo de madie. Ne mo mo we ni na echino. Yesu says a unconcruni ya bayanswa ye benya tumi ana huading. And this power, as I huading we no, is for a business. A baye ju mebi. God did not just bring the spirit of Jesus to come and dwell in us for naught. It is for a reason. Now, me am five years old. I'm ready and send me to your mukeke. Now, mum, send to binti ewo. I want to remind you that Pentecost is for business. Yeah, ya share Pentecost e fa ni ewe and then you mreno. But send me kai ose Pentecost e tumi no e jume binti ya. But you will receive power. Now, mu benya wadeng. When the Holy Spirit comes on you. Se unkunkru ni nyaba muswa. And you will be my witnesses. Now, mu benya madansi for. You will bail me out. Mwanka sa mu besa emiti. And you do that from Jerusalem. Now, mu besa si efi Jerusalem. And in all Judea. E wo Judea and so. In Samaria. Kopim Samaria. And to the ends of the earth. Any asasi ano no wa. So the agenda of the power of the Holy Spirit is about the ends of the earth. The Juma unkonkru no. Witnessing unkonkru Christ to the ends of the earth. Yenti awo de unkonkru no ma ene se yebe to me abo Christo unde uro akopim asasi ano no wa. Pentecost is power. Pentecost e ye to me it is. Power to live. A life worthy of the calling we have received. Pentecost is power to live a sanctified life in a perverse society. To live a sanctified life in an unsanctified environment. Pentecost's power to continue what Jesus began to do and to teach. Pentecost is power for us to take nations. Beginning from our Jerusalem. In all our Judeas. And to our neighboring nations. To the ends of the earth. It is because of this Pentecost power. That we believe that we can possess the nation. That we can transform every sphere of society with the values and principles of the kingdom of God. How can we deal with the corrupt land? How can we reverse the moral decadence in our society. See my brothers and sisters. Don't worry about the enormity of the tax. But concentrate on the power within. And do something about your sphere and God. Will bring the increase. When we 
joined the church of Pentecost. They were not telling us about the witches and the wizards outside there. How powerful they were. They were. But they told us that greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world. You concentrate on the Pentecost power that is in you. And then take steps to deal with your sphere. And God will work the miracle. Pentecost is power. Pentecost is power. Is the ability to act. The ability to do. The capability of doing or accomplishing something. When we talk about power, it is the capability of doing or accomplishing something. See, power, brothers and sisters, is the ability to create effects. So when this power is in us, is that to me here, Juma, we create effects. Okay. So to me, so no me and to I Joshua, I wherever the soul of your fish shall tread, that place will be yours. Once you step there with the Pentecostal power, you must create effects. When you come to Joshua, say, "Be out of one more, and I will never see Biara." A hobe ya udia. So to me, I want you to know. To me, Danny, no more any. I'm a baby. Is he? See, one of the names of the Holy Spirit is the Spirit of Jesus. Mm. The Spirit of Jesus in us yes. is greater than the challenges outside. There. All we need is to rise and take steps and do something about our spheres. Mm. And God will bring the increase. Mm. This evening, I want to suggest that begin in your Jerusalem. Let us all begin from our homes. And then you may me soon cry, say, Shasia, if you are Jerusalem, Mumia, you know, Shasia, every and fear. If you want to talk about possessing the nations, don't jump your home because that is where you ought to start from. Now, why am I suggesting that we should start from our homes? The armed robbers and the kidnappers we see and hear about, they all come from homes. Men and women prostitutes, they were born by some human beings. They came from home. Okay. You see, corrupt systems and societal evil is crafted by human beings from homes. Okay. We really want to bring transformation into the society. Then, as Christians, we need to pay attention to what goes on in our homes. When we save the home, we will be saving the future. So we will be looking at the possessing the nation's agenda vis-a-vis -vis the power of the Holy Spirit in respect to family life. See, the family is the base of the society. It is the family that makes the society and by extension the nation. So if you want to possess nations, let's pay attention to the family. It is the bottom support of the society, and the family. It is the foundation of the society. See, the family is also derived from marriage. 
The union of a man and a woman. And I mean biologically male and biologically female. Yeah. All others are not marriage according to scripture. They are something else. Because anything outside biologically male's union with a biologically female's union is something else. What I'm talking about is what the Bible calls marriage. Instituted by the Almighty. Any other thing is human idea. And Jesus said, let us go for the original. See, one of the things that we must boldly do is to fight anything that arises itself against the knowledge of God. It's okay for the devil to live side by side with us, but for us, it is not okay with us. If we really want to possess nations, then we must pay critical attention to the institution of marriage and Family life. And you know, SSC, a share, a warrior, she said, any a warrior, and I say, a busy abra bonsu. See, in our time, Yembriso, young people see marriage and family life as a border and an inconvenience to what they call their freedom. A name, Remo, a mantua, and a maba, one who said, a warrior, crampo, a bit to me, a hawansum, you are crying. The lack of faith. In the institution of marriage is rendering the family life an endangered institution. You see, it is threatened with extinction. Sometimes we joke with so many things, but we don't know that all these things that are going on. You see, when you are talking about marriage, my target is not to the married, I'm talking about the idea that young people even have. And Nancy Van Pelt, the author of To Have and To Hold, agree with this assertion that I'm making. Nancy Van Pelt, on what chair our young woman be no say, Anna Otka, if our young. She wrote about one Ruth Peel's visit. To a university classroom. And encounter with this university student. Now, this story is over 42 years now. See, Ruth Peel. Wife of Dr. Norman Peel tells of visiting a university classroom. Ruth Peel, no, or no, and it being for Van Peel, Negre. She, during her lecture, a beautiful, sophisticated, but scornful young lady sitting in the back of the room lifted up their hand and asked some question. Bra or Chadier, no, Abaya, Bia, now you know, we are near tea, man, and Sasso will be with us. She challenged what the woman said. This is over 42 years ago. So imagine what is going on now. Obusana Semna Semo Busano, a dear to me, had been a pa, no Busa Samway, Bayer and Frisier, Dia Nine, and Nimu, a chilly. Now, Ujinua, and then Pabea Sam. Mrs. Peel, a Semno Busano, any or say, all right, repeal. In your remarks, you stated that. Bra Ocasano, what can be say? You thought marriage was the greatest career for a woman. Yes, 
In my opinion, marriage is finished. And most of us here feel the same way. Most we don't think it is necessary or even desirable to link yourself sexually to a partner in your early 20s and limit yourself only to that one person for the rest of your life. This is ridiculous. Yeah, yeah, titi, hey, yeah, ni ni kura se, eh, ya de pa anasa di enyan sang wum. Se onu obi ebe bom se mumbe nanti atina se aware for mum kwa na yina na oni se ni pana atina da kuzi so wobe titi muntem minyi ni se huni akura. Every eye was reverted on the young woman as she continued. O kasa wye ya na so gusu kasa no wwe kweshi ya wushi ademu anase sku demu yina ni eko tonu so. I'm sleeping with a fellow I like. I don't want to marry him and I don't think he wants to marry me either. Mm -hmm. This is not my first affair and probably won't be the last. I can't see anything wrong with this. We mean from so be a woman. Someday, that when and if I choose to have a child, I may be forced now pay attention by society to marry. But until that time. Na se mi nru hoya I shall not be part of it. Nya dia me de me hu be wure wura sa ma ware sem ne no metiti sey. And if I ever do choose to marry, na se me pese me ware a. And the relationship goes bad. Na in kitawo die anasa yonko fa e me se betumi akwa ware mu no e se e se ya. If it goes sour, I shall not be trapped in it. Yeah. You can see all the discussion that went on when recently uh, it was alleged that somebody lost her life because of uh, challenges in marriage. And what went on in the social media was coming especially from young people. So people see marriage as a trap. And Mrs. Peel, we are highly blind. We see what marriage has done to our parents and others and others, and we do not like what do we see? Yeah, ora here pale. And yes, here near frau. And as here near frau parkra. In hunu noma e koso e wa ya wufo eni wa titi sa awariyum na enya di di tibi ko akose wum. Do you have a ready answer? So who mu aye bi a wa ya kradu sa wadi bema. Each bright face in the room swung around towards Mrs. P. Ubia and ni afe eko to Mrs. Peel so a ohwe yo beka. We took a deep breath and replied. Na Mrs. Peel ogwa home na say any mu ayo kan. Yes, I have an answer. Ani me mu ayo and I'm living it. Na sa mu ayo no kwambo no ni mabrabo. I consider myself one of the most fortunate women alive. Me hunu me hose I'm totally married to a man in every sense of the word. Physically, emotionally, intellectually, spiritually. We are so close that you cannot put a knife blade between us. We are not two lonely individuals competing with each other. See, we are one and nothing else in life 
compare to it. But you will never experience this. If you continue to maintain your present attitude and code of conduct. I thought by this time the lady would have been quiet, but she was not crying. I don't see why not. The lady counted defensively, but with less conviction this time. Why can't a man and a woman's relationship just be as meaningful outside of marriage as it is in it? Are we together? Mrs. P responded. It does not have the commitment. It does not have the permanence. It does not have the depths that comes from total sharing year after year. Working together, knowing that you are playing the game for keeps. Do you think we found happiness by just waving a magic wand? No, we fought for it. We worked for it. Yeah, we were together. We fought for it. We worked for it. We worked for it. To us, marriage is not a trap. It is a privilege. And there's quite a difference between relationship outside marriage and relationship inside marriage. See, this university student in this excerpt I've just presented represents an era when marriage, even among Christians, is becoming brittle. And unstable. She's representing an era. See, when I was in Kofodia, I was invited to be a speaker in a function. And then the topic they gave me was on marriage. So I spoke about marriage. And for me, apart from the Holy Spirit that uh, God has given us and Jesus who saved us, if there's anything good that God has done for us, then it is marriage. And I've just said it. When God said what he has made is good, and it is something that God himself instituted, he will never give us any evil. If marriage is bad, it's bad because of the two people involved. Not that the institution is evil. Not See, so I spoke about marriage. And then, no sooner had I gone to sit down than this lady who was the MC. This program was organized by one of the FMs in the place and they wanted to celebrate an annual something and then they asked me to come and preach. So this lady just picked the mic then she said see have you seen marriage is like um, bread in an oven in an oven 
whilst the bread in the oven is burning and their color is changing, some dough has been lying up outside the oven waiting to enter. <laughs> nah. <laughs> Because we are a court nurse and one check and a new pan, not old dear any mono, nor near a jumaqua, a tons of fremino, and a year juma, and walk as a war real way at his pan noir, yet ton of flu no mu. Na ya fifty is some neviena, ya de pan no, and as a dear summer quacher flu no mua. Eh bien, who's a chilling ya dear eh danino? Well, what a jana as she won the moon. Na ya fifty is some nebinsua, or my two santing, a perfru no nimura. The people started laughing. And I'm on for a trash and a chassis. Yes, was. I was seated there and I was shaking. Now, me too, or no, now, me nanko kum yina was so. This girl has just made nonsense of all that I said. Not near Chinese sense, someone may be kind in yina by an washiago. So I stood up again and I took the mic. Now, me son, sorry, you're bombing also. I'm a fat instead of Casamuno. Looking at the people, I said, my friend, come here. My show won't be him. Now, me fra by an or you don't respect. Are you married? Then I also started shaking. No, no, so she has You make me shake in my seat. I will make you shake before the people. But look at that. This is a mentality. So that this lady we are describing 42 years ago. Now we have people in the society who even who hold certain ideas about what God has made. And they don't want to enter. They don't want to enter. If you really want to possess the nations, please let us pay attention to homes and to the family line. Not just a senior by an casino, not umudu and yankupon ayokra. Now we a nipebia jene awasasi so. Mummy and shen ye is an senior yankupon ayano as a seed you bo and massage. Now pay attention to this. Afitiha. Syrian marriage through. A sequence of divorce is modeled under the limelight by stars in the entertainment world. See, casual sex between adults raises no eyebrows in this society again. No, not at all. Teenage fornication is shrugged off as a universal and inevitable fact of life. See, See, most children in most homes grow up in pagan ignorance of God and His law. The picture implies that people are shunning marriage because they want to avoid the responsibility attached to it. In Funia Mutra, it says, Nipam, Pawari, his hands say, they want a man, not a husband. They want a woman, not a wife. They want a partner, not a spouse. They want a progeny, not a child. It is even said today that abortion among the married is over and above those that are recorded amongst the unmarried. Today's generation lacks the commitment to marry and is afraid of the permanence the concept of marriage proposes. And they are quick to jump out of marriage 
at the slightest challenge. They say we are not compatible. We are not compatible. I'll continue next week. Praying that you bring all your children around. If you really want to possess nations, we really have to pay attention to our homes. That is the base, the family of the society. That is where the nation begins. If we save our family today, we are saving the nation tomorrow. I wouldn't want to end this broadcast. Without giving you the opportunity to give your life to Jesus. The God who is our strength. The one who gives us life within. To be able to stand and do what is right in this perverse generation. Now, if you want to give your life to him, I want you to raise up your right hand wherever you are. And please repeat this after me. Dear Lord, today I repent of my sins and I accept Jesus as my Lord and personal Savior. I pray this simple prayer. You are saved. You are born again. Christ has come to dwell in you. And you have become a child of God. With strength to obey his precepts. The family is an endangered institution. Those of us who are born again, we need to savage it. God bless you. Wherever you are, want to ask that you rise if you can. We want to pray. We want you to start from your home. What is going on? The fact that you are apostle does not mean that you can have good marriage. No, not at all. Good marriages do not come to apostle. It's not a bonus for being a church leader. No. So we are sorry, you know. What is going on? What about your family line? Where is your child? Today you are here on the Zoom. Today you are watching me. But where is your child? Shall we lift up our hands and let us pray? So, 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 so